here in this room now, there's no bystanders. Everybody's a participant. It's important, and I don't think you should underestimate it. John, as a coach, is very wise. It's been this like immersive, intense experience of this is what film acting is. Breathe, you know, breathe well, but the stillness is your best friend. We're just showing you holding a gun, saying I'll shoot you. That's the icon. Drop the gun. He's very no-nonsense about a lot of things and about the industry, which none of us really know about. You're going to an audition and you want to be compelling and action. We get scenes from film and television that John gives to us and we bring them in and we show them to him. If he feels like we're not working truthfully or we're not working in the right way, sometimes he'll just get us to find what the core of the scene is and then we'll do an improv exercise based around that. See the guy's face in detail, who you talked to, what he said, and then what that was like. And action. He's really good at getting us to find the center of that scene and then building on top of that if we need to. I guess my simple point is you can't play an idea. And the second point, which I've made here before, is let's always think and work in our own language. I think I've relaxed a lot after meeting John and uh, having his coaching. Just going on camera over and over and over again really helps just to get that initial comfort level. I'm gonna talk you through it as we do it, so keep doing it and it's gonna be weird, but... So when Marie Claire does this, it's a bit of a stare for me. It's a bit of what I call a fixed gaze. So she, I think she's feeling her way through that. And now she's gonna be super hyper because I said it. Yeah, switch, keep going. Let's hear the dialogue. See, thinking down, gathers her thoughts. She comes up and looks at her direct. Keep going. She thinks her thought here, and she looks up and sends it. This is the blocking with the face and the eyes. The very first exercise I did, there was no script, and John just had very specific marks to hit and look to my scene partner and and then through that a whole story was created. And just as he comes in there you just you just kind of lean forward half a step bang you know and I'm here and you're looking this side of the lens at a kitty. It was a great practice in following very specific instructions. You want to be developing your personal preparation better. You have to be prepping truer and richer and getting your own imagination going so it becomes yours. So then what you bring in to present is very much in you. I find because I've worked theatrically in that technical style for so long, when, when I'm confronted with film and television, it, it can be really difficult to trust that, that just who I am right now is infinitely more interesting than anything I can put on. In John's class, he calls it core strength really being able to come from yourself. Who is this mysterious child you date? I thought it would be really hard and really intimidating, but John has made an atmosphere for us so that we feel okay to explore past maybe our comfort zone. I really enjoyed the safety of this class. Good. So let's just go again. Yeah. Yeah. He's the person to tell us what works and what doesn't, and that just having that feedback is really important. And he, he does it in a way that is not a super huge shutdown so that nobody feels completely rejected after they do a scene. When we get an impulse, guys, it doesn't have to be the pure impulse for the pure thing. So we sometimes think, I'm waiting for the love impulse to hit me and then I'll go love. It doesn't quite go that way. You can turn and look in and just something will catch you. That's enough. Sometimes I call it waiting for God. Sometimes we're waiting so I feel so angry that I'll say, I will kill you. It doesn't go that way. You've already done the prep, you know the situation, or you can imagine it. What will ignite you is going on the, well, the immediacy of the thought. As an actor, you want to make it more than it is. You want to make it more emotional when it's just really, basically, it's just a conversation. So John will make you just have a conversation with the other actor. And then he'll translate, he'll go, okay, go right into the scene. So you've come from something natural, going into the scene and trying to keep it the same. Uh, it helps a lot because 
I think that's what acting is all about. It's just being natural on camera. That's gonna take all day. Exactly. It shouldn't really be acting. It should be more living. When I point out to you guys how you're growing, it's not that you're better actors, but you're developing your confidence and your conviction. Conviction is that you do have a methodology and you do have an approach. That's what conviction is. Yes, you have to start fresh each time, but conviction is, I have a methodology, I have an outlook, I have an approach. I'm going to begin.